breaks my heart. And Kara has a, a baby too. We were we were all just talking about our, our our young children. Listen, I understand sometimes in divorces or or in broken homes, you know, sometimes the parents don't get along. But you would think that with pictures and video of President Biden allowing his son to get on Marine One, uh, allowing his son to go to the uh, state dinners uh, for the uh, Indian that, who just visited, which is a very important state dinner. He is doubling down whistleblower allegations. Um, Hunter's lawyers are calling it an obvious ploy to feed the misinformation campaign to harm our client, Hunter Biden. But there, there is the question of interference that you acknowledge that should be looked into. Cheryl, um, I wanted to come to you on the media because I was shocked the New York Times wrote this piece. With the family. I think all of this is playing into it because at the end of the day, this is a political family. In 2024, said I had, uh, he had ultimate authority. I just want to point out David Weiss said I stand by what I wrote. So still, this tweet I saw from Jamil Hill. Uh, and a, a woman named Miss Chu is before the Supreme Court, and she puts up a picture. I told my daughter that New York Times editorial board zero mentions of Asian. It seems like the Asian community is just totally forgotten, meaning people were crossing every which way, as a court should. Yeah, exactly. And what I find most interesting is you could pretty much always tell criticisms and having them only go one way. I think the answer is as simple as that. The cycle of privilege is legacy admissions. And, and if, you know, if you want diversity, you, that's fine. We'll put 10 more Clarice Thomas, Clarice Thomas on in the next time, right? Like it's, it's, they, they do things and they say things. I think somebody get her a tissue. Yeah. Cheryl does her research. <laughs> there you go. Right. Um, so I thought we should hear directly from some Muslim leaders. Ismael Royer, she's the director of uh, the Islam and Religious Freedom Action Team, says the left attacked in, in Maryland. So it doesn't matter what ethnic minority group you are, what gender you are, uh, you're going to get it. I do have some hope, Cheryl, I think about uh, what the 1970s were like before Ronald Reagan came in and he was able to instill that pride in America again. I remember vividly 9-11. I was a sophomore in college. I remember those days afterwards and, and how we unified. So first that as adults. Well, Kara, is that why the military is missing recruitment goals by as high as 25 uh, percent that these kids don't want to go and serve our country? Is, is, is this because of the messaging they're getting from the progressive left? Is it the messaging they're getting on TikTok? Far and wide from everyone. So I do believe it's yeah. still alive. We just need to like rev it up a little. I think it is. You know, Kevin, who's probably really great. By the way, I can't put a finer point on this. Congressionally mandated means we gave you a bunch of money. You got to tell us exactly. Yeah, I don't care. I thought that vitamin D was good for me. It's supposed That's to be. what my doctor told yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. Am I a mistake? We were promised flying cars, but instead we got 140 characters. Well, our flying cars, not according to your husband, but they might be on the horizon somewhere. So I think that's a great thing. I will always stand by. Now, if Elon does it, I might give it a thought or two. And he's no, totally going to. on solid ground with me. Don't go up there. Okay, we'll not even Elon will get me there. But my money's on Elon and beating Mark Zuckerberg. That is definitely going to happen. Come to a All right. for you. <laughs> Thanks to everyone. Don't forget to DVR the show. Now, here's America Reports.